Hi, I'm Greg Wilson. I'm the producing and founding artistic director of Actors Point Theatre Company. Thanks for taking a few minutes with me to uh, just kind of have a little chat. I, uh, it took quite a while for me to prepare. In fact, I've made some notes to make sure that I can stay succinct. Somebody asked me the other day, is it really important to know how long uh, it is that you want to speak? And I said, it's very important. I mean, if somebody wants me to speak two or three minutes, it might take a couple of weeks to prepare. Uh, if you want me to speak for an hour, it would take me about a week to prepare. If you want me to speak for two hours, it takes me about a day to prepare. And if you want me to speak for five or six hours, I'm ready to go right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you again for uh, just sitting in for a few minutes. And uh, let me tell you what we're doing. Uh, I've been uh, looking at our mission, and I'm going to read it to you really quick. Actors Point Theatre Company exists to enrich the cultural experience of the residents of Sumner County and the surrounding area by providing high quality, professional, theatrical performances and educational opportunities for our young people in our community and old people alike uh, to learn about and participate in all aspects of theatrical production. We've been involved in the community uh, for over four years and six or seven years ago I started dreaming about bringing a professional theater company to Sumner County. We hope that after the scene you'll see that joining us in this exciting and challenging journey is uh, uh, going to be just that, exciting and challenging. Our job uh, so far over the last four years has been to create wonderful theatrical moments and we do that uh, on a regular basis. Three and four and five times a year we've been putting up uh, wonderful productions and hiring people. Uh, from the Nashville area, from regionally, even some who are nationally known, to come in and do our shows, uh, as well as tap into the creative pool that's right here in Sumner County. And uh, we're going to continue uh, endeavoring to keep those level of people coming in to not only uh, put on shows, but also to influence uh, the up and coming artists that we have in our community. And uh, that's kind of the vision. And, and where we're headed uh, with that. We're going to continue to do a regular season uh, of popular musical productions and so on. In fact, this next season we are uh, working to secure the rights to get uh, uh, Steel Magnolias uh, on the boards for you and then It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, again, it's being called for again. People loved it so much they want us to bring it back and, and bring all their friends. And then uh, in the spring we are hoping to mount a full production of Fiddler on the Roof. In addition, we're going to continue with our student programs. Uh, we have a, a wonderful summer program that, that's coming up, uh, and many of you have been involved in seeing or, or sending your kids to uh, uh, five-year-olds through college age, and uh, it's really exciting. Last year we had 50 kids uh, uh, from 9 to 2 every day for, a, for our summer camp. A wonderful experience, uh, and they put on a full Broadway musical in four weeks. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. Uh, secondly, we have the, we've instituted the Sumner Play Student Theater Challenge. That's a, a one-day student theater festival, and we, we've done two of those in, in the past school year. And uh, they come together at 7 o'clock in the morning. We put them on a team, hand them a one-act play, put a professional mentor with them, and at 7 o'clock that night, they've got to perform that play. Uh, we did a little twist on that in January where, we're, where they did actual musical theater numbers and we had a wonderful time. Many of you uh, actually attended those events. Uh, we have, uh, again, we are developing more programs to have more opportunities for more kids to engage and, and work on the art of presentation through theater. Uh, we have a dream of uh, doing a theater festival here in Sumner County. We believe, I believe, that if you do the research Sumner County is poised to be able to draw economic development like no other place in Middle Tennessee. Uh, we've got this lake, we've got this wonderful community, we've got uh, uh, growth going on uh, as you know uh, at astronomical rates and uh, the thing that's gonna bring people here, hold people here, and then make people visit here is something that's exciting and, and uh, with Nashville and Sumner County being within a 500 mile 
a radius of two thirds of the population in the United States, well, really about an hour and a half plane ride from two thirds of the population in the United States, we believe that we could be the center of it all. And uh, why not us? Why not us? We've developed uh, a program where we can help some, some nonprofit organizations or some charitable organizations kind of do their mission uh, by providing a performance that all the ticket sales goes to, uh, to uh, that entity. And, and we're going to continue to look for opportunities to help worthy causes like that. Uh, we're going to continue to try to provide a creative well. Uh, in economic development and in, in the future, if you'll look at the uh, businesses, and uh, uh, the entities that are really thriving in, in the world, what sets them apart is not the quality of the goods that they, that they provide, it's the creativity and the creative manner in which they provide them. I mean, uh, the reason Google is Google isn't because uh, you know, they got uh, better uh, technology, because everybody has the same technology nowadays. What Google has is they have creativity. I mean, let's face it, the reason you, you never hear people go, hey, let's Yahoo that or let's Bing that. No, we say, hey, let's Google that. And there's a reason. It's their creativity. It's not a surprise to me that the most creative computer company on the planet hap uh, and the CEO of that happened to be also the guy who founded Pixar. Uh, and uh, of course, we and now Disney has bought Pixar, but uh, it's not a surprise because of the creative wealth. What am I trying to say? Businesses, in order to be unique in the world of lookalikes, businesses have to be more creative. Have to be more creative. Well, we have to provide, we, the theater company, we, the community, I believe, have to provide a creative well by which those creatives can fill their creative cup up by having by being able to go to performances by seeing art by seeing dance all those kinds of things if we provide that well for those creatives those creatives can be more effective when they go back to work on Monday morning in their businesses that's the idea secondly as we do this with our students those creatives that we create in our students that creativity that we create in our students is going to translate five and 10 and 15 and 20 and 30 years down the road in our businesses, in our community. Okay, not all the kids are gonna go on to be professionals in, in some kind of theatrical endeavor or anything like that. But what it will help them do is be really excellent in the chosen endeavor uh, that, uh, that they pursue in life. And so really that's one of the main goals of what we're trying to do as well. Look, if I could just do plays, <laughs> that would be great because that's what I am. I'm an actor. I'm a director. But you know what? I know that there's a bigger picture and I know that you know there's a bigger picture. And what we're hoping uh, is that you'll join us as we continue to develop these dreams and goals that you continue to, to be engaged and inspired and uh, be an inspiration uh, with us and for us. And uh, again, we appreciate what you're doing this evening, uh, wherever you are, and uh, we hope you have a great time. And uh, right now, when you're seeing this, we're probably performing. And uh, it's what we love to do. And, and uh, hopefully we'll see you here in the theater or around town very soon. Thanks very much.